Dear colleagues, welcome to this audio slide presentation. My name is Tadej Kranz. In the next few minutes, I will present you an article titled The Mass Normalization of the Displacement and the Strain Mode Shapes in a Strain Experimental Model Analysis Using the Mass Chain Strategy. The article was published in the Journal of Sound and Vibration. The article is focused on the strain experimental model analysis, which is the special approach in the field of the experimental model analysis. The classic experimental model analysis is based on the measuring of the frequency response functions where the excitations are performed with the model hammer or the electrodynamic shaker. The response measurements are performed with a motion sensor like the piezoelectric accelerometer or laser vibrometer. The strain experimental model analysis is based on the measuring of the strain frequency response functions where the excitations are performed in the similar way as in the classic experimental model analysis. The responses are measured with a strain sensor like the metal foil strain gauge or the piezoelectric strain gauge. The classic experimental model analysis can be used for the identification of the natural frequencies, the damping and the displacement mode shapes. The strain experimental model analysis can be used in a similar way to identify natural frequencies, the damping and the displacement mode shapes. Additionally, the strain mode shapes can be identified which contain the information about the strains corresponding to the displacement mode shapes. A benefit of the strain experimental model analysis is that it can be used for the experimental investigation of the stress-strain distribution without the building a mathematical model. A drawback of the strain experimental model analysis is that the mass normalization cannot be performed like in the classic experimental model analysis. A mass normalization is a scaling procedure of the mode shapes with respect to the orthogonality properties of the model matrix. In the strain experimental model analysis, the mass normalization is usually performed with the classic experimental model analysis, which requires the use of the motion sensor. When this is not possible, the mass normalization cannot be performed. In this article, a mass normalization procedure is presented which does not require the use of the motion sensor. It's based on the structure modification by mass adding which results to the natural frequency changes. The mass change strategy was originally developed for the mass normalization in the field of the operational model analysis. In this research, the approach was modified in a way that it was applicable for the mass normalization in the strain experimental model analysis. The mass normalization procedure is performed as follows. First, the strain experimental model analysis is performed on the original structure to obtain the natural frequencies, the damping, the unnormalized displacement and strain mode shapes. Then the structure modification by mass adding follows. Next, the strain experimental model analysis is performed on the mo modified structure to identify the natural frequencies and the displacement mode shapes of the modified structure. Follows the calculation of one component of mass normalized strain mode shapes for all the modes of interest. Finally, the mass normalized displacement and strain mode shapes are calculated. In this research, the proposed approach was validated on the free free supported beam and plate structures. In this audio slide presentation, only the results of the testing at the beam are presented. To identify the natural frequencies, the damping, the mass normalized displacement and strain mode shapes, the procedure which was presented in the previous audio slide was used. During the model testing, the excitations were performed with the model hammer and the responses were measured with the piezoelectric strain gauges. The structure modification was performed by attaching of magnets. For validation, the identified displacement and strain mode shapes are plotted together with the shapes which were calculated with the finite element method. Figures A, C, E, G and I show the displacement mode shapes. Figures B, D, F, H and J show the strain mode shapes. The comparison shows that the experimental results are in good agreement to the calculated values, what shows the validity of the proposed approach. 
In this research, the problems relating to the mass normalization of the displacement in the strain mode shapes in the field of the strain experimental model analysis were considered. A new approach to mass normalization in the strain experimental model analysis is presented, which is based on the natural frequency shifts due to the structure modification by mass adding. The proposed approach does not require the use of the motion sensor. The proposed approach was validated on the beam and the plate structures.